In a world plagued by static electricity, one thing suffers. No! Awful, isn't it? Welcome back to the Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. Today we are going to look at what we can do to protect our records from that evil entity known as static electricity. So what is static electricity and how do we avoid it? Well, for starters, static electricity involves those little things called electrons. When you walk across, say, a carpet, electrons from the carpet are passed from it to you. You collect them and you build the charge. And when you touch a doorknob, they pass from you to the doorknob. You expel them with a little electric shock. So, so why? Well, physics. There's an imbalance there. The exchange of electrons creates that imbalance. They'll flow from the, say, positively charged surface to the negative charged surface. When a material becomes electrically charged through, say, contact, it's due to an effect called the triboelectric effect. I know, I, I simplified all that, but the, the same thing happens with vinyl records. They too collect electrons just like your body does when you, say, walk across the carpet or, or rub a balloon in your hair. When a, a record's positively charged, it attracts dust. It essentially becomes a dust magnet. Every time your record is rubbed across a surface or has something rubbed across it or dragged through its groove, like, say, a stylus, it gains electrons and it becomes positively charged. So how do you deal with this? There are a few ways, and today we'll look at seven of them, starting with number one humidity. Dry air contributes to the buildup of static electricity. The perfect humidity for storing and playing records is between 40 and 50 percent. If you live in a dry climate or environment, a humidifier can be an inexpensive way you know, to remedy this. Number two is how you handle your records. Remember, static electricity builds up with contact. The less contact, the better. So hold your records from the edges, and when you remove it from its sleeve, do so with you know, minimal contact. The same goes for when you place it on the turntable and flip it over. Number three is anti-static sleeves. Sleeves made of anti-static materials will also help prevent the buildup of static electricity when slipping a record in and out. I replace all of my sleeves with polyethylene sleeves after cleaning them, which leads me to number four, cleaning records. Now I've gone through my cleaning process in previous episodes, but you don't need to buy expensive equipment to clean your records. There are great cleaning solutions out there that will help reduce the static before you slip it into a you know, static-free sleeve. So what was that? How many? Uh, four. All right, so number four, on to, no, we just did number four. On to number five, use an anti-static brush to clean the dust off your records before each play. It will also help reduce the static, and being static-free, it won't contribute to the problem. Number six is the mat your turntable sits on. Not your turntable, sorry. The mat on your turntable that your records sits on. Now I've covered this before, so I won't get into all the different mats there are out there and solutions and how they affect the buildup of static electricity. But mats made out of materials like cork, leather, or rubber are effective deterrents. Now I've used different mats over the years and the one I have now that's on the turntable behind me is a hybrid cork and rubber solution that seems to work brilliantly. Number seven is a magical one. <laughs> well, not really, but it feels like it is. If static electricity continues to be a problem, you could always spend a few bucks on the Milti Zerostat gun. Now, I think you can get one for around 100 bucks on Amazon and elsewhere. Now, I've never bought one, but only because I use all of the other methods I've talked about, and the battle against static electricity has been in my favor so far. You know, fingers crossed, knock on wood. Well, that wasn't wood, that was an album. Anyway, um, everything I've read about and heard on the Zero Stats performance has been positive. No pun intended. 
It works by shooting a stream of positive and then negatively charged ions at the record to neutralize in any static that are present on the surface. So how does it do this? By something called the piezo crystal. I don't know, I have no idea what that is. I don't believe it's an actual crystal, but maybe. Um, either way, I've seen plenty of demonstrations online and it, and it seems to work really well. And it has been on the market for decades. So I should probably break down one day and save my pennies and buy one, if only to review it for, for this show. Anyway, I think we've covered them all. There was humidity, cleaning, anti-static sleeves, mats, brushes, handling, and, well, magic crystals. You know what else is magic? The magic of subscribing. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode and, and want to know when new episodes are being released, just click subscribe over here. And until next time, please take care of yourself and enjoy your records.